hello students i hope you all are fine students as you know that yesterday we were discussing about the bond parameters so in bond parameters students we have seen about that what is bond length bond energy bond order and bond angle also then students we were discussing about the factors affecting of the bond order okay so fact sorry factors affecting of the bond angle then students we have discussed two factors one was the hybridization in hybridization we will see the s factor okay as percentage we will see like if hybridization is sp so here you can see here s and p both are in 1 by 1 ratio both are in 1 by 1 ratio here okay then student if i consider total if i consider total 100 then 50 plus 50 100 so here s character is 50% here in case of sp2 s character is 33.3% 33% and in case of sp3 it is 25% so students bond angle is directly proportional to the s character if s character will increase then bond angle also increases here you can see if hybridization is sp then bond angle will be 180 degree and if hybridization is sp2 here s character is less than this one so bond angle is also less than bond angle is 120 and in case of sp3 here s character only 25% so further bond angle also decreases here and bond angle is 109 degree 28 minute we have already discussed this one point i hope this is clear to you so second one point was students number of lone pairs second one point was the number of lone pairs means if number of lone pairs increases on central atom on central atom then student bond angle will decrease bond angle is inversely proportional to the number of lone pairs on central atom okay here you can see students both uh, all three methane ammonia and water have same geometry have same geometry but their shape is different and students angle angle is also different here why it is students in case of methane you can see no lone pair is here here number of lone pair zero hence bond angle is 109 degree 28 minute and in case of ammonia there is one lone pair on nitrogen and angle is 107 degree it is less than this one and student in case of water on oxygen there are two lone pairs and bond angle further decreasing and now it is 104.5 degree okay so here you can see if no lone pair here one lone pair here two lone pair if number number of lone pairs are going to increase then bond angle is decreasing okay i hope these two points are clear to you students we have already discussed these two points in previous class so today we will discuss some more factors okay so our next factor which affect the which affect the bond angle that is the electronegativity of the central atom electronegativity of the central atom bond angle bond angle increase with the increase in the electronegativity of the central atom students if electronegativity if electronegativity on of central atom increases then bond angle also increases means electronegativity of central atom is directly proportional to the bond angle what do you mean by this one students if i talk about group number 16 electronegativity here group number 16 elements these are oxygen sulfur selenium so student here you can see you know very well if i move 
down the group top to bottom then electronegativity decreases electronegative character decreases hence oxygen is more electronegative here as compared to the sulfur and sulfur is more electron negative as compared to acid so student here if i make hydride if i make hydride of all like water h2o h2s h2sc h2sc if you will draw structure students what will happen here in case of oxygen we have already drawn the structure oxygen has six outermost electrons six valence electron it will consume two electrons in bond formation and two lone pairs are here two lone pairs are here of the group number 16 so all have six valence electron this one also this one also has six electron okay students so here in all cases in all cases same type of shape they have this one also good student here angle difference take place angle difference take place because if we move down the group then electronegativity of element electronegativity of element decreases then angle also decreases you know students here in case of water this angle this angle is 104.5 degree 104.5 this one but in case of h2s this one is 92 around 92.6 again and students here in case of h2sc structure is further same okay but angle further decreases angle further decreases here it is around 91 then student you can see if we move down the group then electronegativity decreases so here central atom is oxygen here central atom sulfur here central atom is acid so here you can see if we move down the group electronegativity decreases so its electronegativity is maximized then bond angle also increases so this will be the order order for the bond angle also okay students i hope this is clear to you our next point is factor affecting the bond length factor affecting the bond length we have discussed about the bond orders okay bond length bond strength and bond angle and factor affecting of bond or bond length also now we will discuss about the factor affecting the bond length factor affecting bond angle we have already done now we will discuss about the factor affecting of the bond length first one factor is size of bonded atom size of bonded atom as the size of the bonded atom increases the distance between both the nuclei also increases hence the bond length also increases hence the bond length also increases student try to understand if i have, if i have hydrogen right i have hydrogen chloride hydrogen bromide hydrogen iodide hydrogen iodide okay here students you know very well if we move down the group chlorine chlorine bromine iodine these are the elements of group number 17 and student if we move down the group then atomic size increases atomic size increases 
why it is increasing due to increasing number of shell due to so difference in in the electronegative part here fluorine here chlorine okay so students you will see if we move down the group then atomic size increases why it is increases because number of cells increases okay so if atomic size increases then bond length also increases bond length also increases here students let us consider this one is the hydrogen and this one is the fluorine this one is the fluorine okay here size of the this one is hydrogen and chlorine chlorine size is greater than the fluorine chlorine size is greater than the fluorine this one is the hydrogen and bromine size bromine size is yes friends so you can see if down the group we move then number of cells increases so atomic size also increases and students if atomic size increases if atomic size increases then bond length also increases you can see students let us consider this one is the h hydrogen and this one yes students so what will happen let us consider this one is the chlorine and here this one hydrogen and this one we are considering this one is the iodine students you can see if size increases then this bond length this bond length also increases here you can observe this one this one is longer this one is longer as compared to this one as compared to this one so we can say if atomic size increases if atomic size increases then bond length also increases means bond length is directly proportional to the atomic size bond length is directly proportional to the atomic size so size of bonded atom if increases then atomic Uh, then bond length also increases so bond length is directly proportional to the atomic size here then students in hydrogen halide this will be the order for bond length this will be the order for the bond length okay then next one factor is students multiplicity bond length bond length is inversely related to the multiplicity of the bond as the bond, yes what do you mean by the multiplicity students students you know carbon if there is carbon to carbon single bond carbon to carbon single bond this one bond you can see this one bond is between carbon and carbon and if this one this one is the single bond okay and carbon to carbon multiplicity means carbon to carbon may be double bond also okay and may be triple bond also may be triple bond also then it is known as the multiplicity so students if multiplicity increases so here this one this one is the double bond this one is the triple bond here students if multiplicity increases then bond length decreases you know bond length is inversely proportional to the multiplicity if multiplicity increases then bond length decreases then bond length will decreases what do you mean by this one
if multiplicity increases then bond length decreases what do you mean by this one here you can see this one this one is the triple bond students if we make carbon to carbon triple bond then its bond length will be around 120 picometer and if we make the double bond between carbon and carbon then its bond length will be around 134 picometer and if this one this one is the single bond then bond length will be around 150 Four picometer. So you can see this bond length is maximum in case of the single bond, and it is the minimum in case of the triple bond here. Means if multiplicity is increasing here, if multiplicity is increasing here, then students bond length is going to decrease. Here only single bond, then bond length is maximum. Here. triple bond so bond length is minimum so if multiplicity increases then bond length decreases okay i hope this concept is clear to you next one is the students bond order as the bond order increases the bond strength also increases since the bonded electron are bound strongly between the two nuclei the bond length decreases in this way yes students this one is the same concept what do you mean by the bond order we have already discussed about that bond order mean number of bonds between two bonded atoms okay so here you can see bond order is only one in this case bond order is two because two bonds are there here bond order bond order is increases if bond order is increases then bond length also decreases bond length also decreases means bond order is also inversely proportional to the bond order is also inversely proportional to the bond length okay then students our last point is percentage of the s character percentage of s character as the percentage of s character in the bond increases the bond length decreases students we have already discussed about this one sp sp2 sp3 these are the hybridization and students here in case of sp s character h s character here s character h 50% here 33.33% only here 25% Okay, you know, students. If there is single bond between carbon to carbon, if carbon to carbon single bond is there, then hybridization will be sp three. And if carbon to carbon double bond is there, carbon to carbon double bond is there, then hybridization will be sp two. And if carbon to carbon triple bond will be there, then hybridization will be sp. means if triple bond is there you already discussed about that if multiplicity increases then bond length decreases okay so here you can see for sp means s character is 50% and triple bond is there further multiplicity is increases here so students if s character increases then bond length decreases then bond length decreases number of the lone pairs on the bonded atoms number of lone pair on the bonded atom is the last point for this as the number of lone pair on the bonded atom increases the bond length also increases due to the repulsion between the lone pair if number of lone pairs on bonded atom like students here lone pairs if increases then these lone pair these lone pair they will repel each other if they will repel each other then bond length also increases bond length will increase means bond length is directly proportional to the number of lone pairs number of lone pairs present on the bonded atom present on the bonded atom okay so and next one point is the electronegativity difference bond length is inversely related to the electronegativity difference between the two bonded atom 
if electronegativity difference increases then bond length decreases then bond length decreases okay students i hope these points are clear to you so student you can see in brief bond length bond length is directly proportional to the size of atoms directly proportional to the size of atoms bond length is inversely proportional to the multiplicity inversely proportional to the as character inversely proportional to the s character and inversely proportional to the bond order inversely proportional to the electronegativity difference electronegativity difference okay you can see between hydrogen fluorine and hydrogen iodide okay here fluorine is more electronegative here electronegative negativity difference is more as compared to this one as compared to this one but size will be greater here but here electronegativity difference is small but size is greater okay here electronegativity difference is more but size is smaller size is smaller means it is inversely proportional to this one so students these all points we have discussed about the factor of acting of the bond angle factor of acting of the bond length also and you know bond length is inversely proportional to the bond length is inversely proportional to the bond strength if you know about the bond length order students easily you can reverse that and you can tell about the bond strength order means if bond length is greater if bond length is more bond length increases then students we can easily break this one we need small amount of energy for breaking that bond means its strength is weak okay it is not so strong then students if bond angle no sorry if bond length increases then bond strength decreases so all order will be the opposite in this case and bond length is inversely proportional to the bond length is inversely proportional to the bond order hence we can say bond strength is bond strength is directly proportional bond strength is directly proportional to the bond order so students two parameters we have done in explained way one is the bond order bond length and bond angle i hope these points are clear to you so thank you have a nice day